For this video, I'll be showing you how to partition your hard drive from Apple's filing system, APFS for short, back to macOS Extended Journal Partition. Now there's a couple of reasons why somebody might be wanting to do this. Let's say you have an older MacBook machine and you recently upgraded its internal with an SSD or a hybrid hard drive. But now we're experiencing some software issues that require you to downgrade it to an older OS. And this OS doesn't support APFS. Or you could also upgrade the storage capacity on your current machine and decide to use that older drive for it to be a time machine to back up all your storage. Whatever the reason is, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to reverse this process. So quick disclaimer, the hard drive that we are trying to partition will be getting wiped clean. So all that data that's on that drive will be getting wiped. So make sure you backed up everything. I am not held responsible for your mistakes. Now you might have noticed in the disk utility, once you select the drive you want to partition, we're, we are unable to go back to the Mac OS extended journal and ignore the uh, Chrome OS. That was just an experiment I was testing out. But what we want to go ahead and do is open up the terminal, type in disk util list. Not like that, I misspelled it, I forgot the U. But type this in, hit enter. This will also be in the video description down below as well. So you can just copy and paste. And you'll see a list of other storage devices that are hooked up to our Mac machine. Here you want to go ahead and look at the hard drive that you have plugged in that matches the storage and the information from the disk utility that we're trying to partition. Once you found the drive with the correct storage capacity under the identifier in the same row as the Apple APFS, you want to go ahead and remember the number ID. Once you verify that that's the correct drive, just type in disk util APFS, delete containers, and then enter the disk number under the identifier. In my case, disk2s2. Then hit enter. I also have this text in the video description so you can just copy and paste and just enter the uh, disk ID. And that's it. Now if we go back to disk utility, we can see here that it's formatted to extended journal. And then just in case, if you don't have access to your computer, let's say this is your only MacBook, when you boot up your Mac, hit the power button, and while it's booting up, hold down Command and R, and it's gonna take you to this page, the Mac OS Utility. It's the exact same process, but up here on the little right hand, or left hand corner, you wanna go ahead and hit Utilities Terminal. That's gonna pop up right here and you basically just follow the same steps instructions. So, there you guys have it. Now, if you found this video informative, useful in any way, don't forget to smash that like button, as well as subscribe to the channel if you're not. But I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.